So I figured I would do my intro while I was not drunk, that way I can actually make sense and you guys understand what's going on in this video. This is the No Thumbs Makeup Challenge with a huge twist. Because I'm a responsible adult and because it is 12.13pm in the afternoon, I am going to be doing this challenge drunk. Now before you guys read me to fucking filth in the comments for drinking a twisted tea, I am somebody, and my friends will all know this, I'm not someone who drinks all the time, actually I don't drink at all. If I drink anything, and I drink a lot of anything, it's going to be either wine or champagne, preferably wine. The only wine I've tried that I didn't like was chocolate milk wine that my best friend made me try at his house, and I was like, that's fucking disgusting. Like, my two favorite things in the world were combined into one and it tasted like a fistful of assholes. It was disgusting. So when I want to get a a little buzz on like I want to do in this video for this challenge I resort to twisted teas because number one there really isn't an alcohol taste it just tastes like a very very adult version of a iced tea if you guys like this challenge and if you are of legal drinking age I go ahead and tag all of you guys to do this challenge because it honestly I'm sure is gonna be so much fun please drink responsibly don't go drinking and driving and doing anything I suggest doing it on a day when you have nothing to do like for me today I have nothing literally nothing to do all fucking day so I'm gonna sit my happy ass here drink this drink and do some makeup and make y'all laugh hopefully so with that being said guys I'm gonna get on out of here and start getting drunk or crunk if you want to say that and I will see you guys in a couple of minutes Eight hours later. So quick update. I'm up to like right here. I Feel so good right now as a matter of fact This is the best I felt in a long time So now let's get our thumbs all 50 shades of fucked up because they can't beat in this tutorial today Unfortunately, I don't know why they make duct tape so harsh so this is making me very, very uncomfortable now because I don't want to put this on my skin knowing it's going to rip off every single fucking hair follicle. So how the fuck am I supposed to do this? So I just put that there and just... I'm supposed to have my hand to where my thumb is completely useless. It's even more work because I can't fucking use my goddamn thumbs. I am fucked. Whoever invented duct tape needs to like calm the fuck down. <sighs> I just dropped it. Oh, I just stuck it together! All right, I think we're uh, secure. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is first of all now try to use a clip and pin back my hair. And then I'm gonna prime my lids using my Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. This bitch is so fucking thick. This bitch, this bitch, the concealer is a bitch. This bitch is fucking thick as fuck and it's so hard to use, I'm so stressed. Jesus, is it just me or does this drink taste less and less good? Did that make any sense? Less and less good. I forgot what I was even saying. How the fuck am I supposed to put this down like this? I look like a turd. This concealer is incredibly thick and I would never normally use this product as an eye primer but for today's look I'm gonna go ahead and just go with it because we are doing what I would call like the best prom makeup look ever. Because not only are you gonna look all 50 shades of fucked up, you're gonna look fucking beautiful all 50 shades of fucked up. You're gonna have those shimmery lids and fucking highlighters making you look like a fucking glazed donut princess goddess bitch. All right, so now we're gonna go in with a matte black eyeshadow and we're gonna start to build up the darkest part of our smoky eye. So for that shadow, I'm gonna go into this Kat Von D metal matte eyeshadow palette into the shade Jet right here. How am I supposed to hold this? All my strength as far as my hands when it comes to holding things and grasping things is in my thumb, obviously. This is not going to be easy because my fingers already feel like they're 10 pounds heavier because this goddamn palette. I forgot to include you guys in the next step. I kind of got lost when I was talking about high school. We're going to take that and pick up the shade Jet in the Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And we're going to fuck up our eyes with this color. Like literally, you want this to be so dark. That it looks like a goddamn fucking super massive black hole on your fucking face. This is fucking hard. I'm getting the black everywhere I don't want it. Let's see if I can like... This is fucking ridiculous right now. This is like hardcore makeup application 101. Shit. So I'm taking it like this. And we're gonna go ahead and just... <laughs> this is gonna look so fucked up. This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. Why am I so fucking ambitious? Why is non-drunk me so fucking ambitious? I keep dropping everything. We're gonna take a dark brownish eyeshadow and we're gonna go ahead and blend the outside corner and also the crease out with that shade. I'm going into shade Oak in this palette right here. I can't figure this shit out right now. I'm really stressed out because nothing is going the way I want it to and it's impossible to do anything without fucking thumbs. 
I thank God I never had to take those fucking shop classes where they teach you how to fucking cut wood and shit. I'd be fucked. I feel like I should have some like chemical romance playing in the background or like some good Charlotte or something. Alright, so now that you look like a sultry, sexy, vixen goddess bitch, we're gonna put on some of the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. We're gonna pick up the shade Blue Sapphire, and we're gonna put that all over the lid to add an accent color to this look. Alright, so now we're gonna go figure out how to do this, because this is becoming a dilemma. So we're gonna put that there. Judging by what this looks like towards the end, I feel like I wanna do a recreation of this look, but not fucked up. You know what I mean? Because this color is fucking beautiful. I'm living for this color right now. Like this, it looks so crazy. But you're kind of. I guess it doesn't really matter if I fuck up my liner, especially my wing liner, because you're not gonna be able to see it. Unless we go for like an amazingly, like, outrageous winged liner, which I think I might just do to make this video even funnier, because I'm all about the comedic value of my videos, and since I'm this fucking plaster right now, this is like the prime time to get me to do dumb shit, so let's fucking just go for it. I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is my favorite fucking eyeliner of the entire fucking world like in the entire existence of the universe all the fucking big dang fucking planets and shit let me go ahead and just put that like that and we'll go like this we look so fucking hot i probably shouldn't be putting anything near the inside part of my eye when i'm intoxicated but it's okay it's my veins this is where we're gonna fuck things all the way up let me try to do my liner with my left hand on my left eye this should be fucking hilarious if I pull off a decent wing with my left hand, I need to be entered into like the beauty vlogger of the year because I want to see some of you other fucking people do this shit. Intoxicated. My curve looks fucking good. Let's proceed. Look at that. It's already looking fucking amazing. I'm so excited right now. Fuck. Don't ever try and fix your winged liner once it's fucked up. As you can see, I'm learning this once again because I'm a perfectionistic bitch. I don't know the word, but whatever. Fuck! So now I'm gonna take the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which, can I just say something quickly? I don't know who the fucking creator of Too Faced is having sex with that he feels the need to name a mascara better than sex. If mascara is indeed better than your sex life or the sex you're having as of right now, you are doing something 100% wrong. Either you are or he is or she is or whoever it is. One of you is fucking off. But we're gonna go ahead and just use mascara because it's fucking available and it's tiny and I can fit it in my fucking fingers easily. I need a fucking stand-up mirror. And I have one, I just don't know where it is. My fucking room. I don't want have my fucking life. Now I'm gonna try to angle this brush so I can create an angle for my brows. The brush is like turning. Okay, thank you so much for coming back. I think I did that so nicely. She couldn't tell I was fucked up. I'm gonna go ahead and just avoid doing lashes, but we're gonna move on to the second half of this look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the Electric Palette from Urban Decay. I'm gonna go into the shade Chaos, which is right here. It looks like this really small, really, really skinny to no tacos in this brush. And then we're gonna go into the shade Chaos, like I said, and once again, we're having problems flipping this brush around, and we're gonna blend this on the very bottom lash line. So because we look like intergalactic trash right now, we're gonna go ahead and keep on with that little trend we have going on right now. We're gonna go into the shade Revolt, and we're gonna put that on the bottom lash line, but towards the inside corner of the eye. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that the way it is right now, because why the fuck not? And we're gonna try to do our face makeup, which fucking God be with me in this moment because this is gonna be fucking tragic. I'm taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is probably gonna be way too light for me. Or maybe I'm just trying to be fucking cool and sound like I'm fucking tan when I'm not. Maybe. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and just boop, 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 boop. Pretty sure I didn't do my other brow. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Keep getting these Snapchat notifications. Who is this? Half these people I don't even know. I just add people on fucking Snapchat and watch their fucking stories. This is hard to do without my fucking thumb. This is 
is a fucking fail. I'm not crying, I swear to god I'm not crying, I'm fucking laughing. Those were fucking hilarious. My eyes are fucking on fire right now. I look so ridiculous. I have a fucking inspired idea, guys. Let's go ahead and go with this, and we're gonna go for emo glam. Glemo. So we're gonna try to create really pretty, like really intense, very menacing wings on the outside of our eye. We're gonna take the shade Jet, the dark matte black shade, and we're gonna go ahead and just extend this out like so. We're gonna create wings big enough to fly away from all this fucking happy ass fucking bullshit. We wanna be so fucking pissed off at the world for everything, all my fucking problems are the world's problems. I wanna be so emo that even Gerard Way himself feels intimidated by my fucking very presence by the simple fact that I fucking breathe the same oxygen that he does like I want him to tremble in his little fucking trip pants with chains all over and fucking vests and white ass makeup and fucking emo can't see me fucking hair but we don't fly away girl girl you don't lost your mind now because my eyes are the windows to my fucking very dark damp and very very miserly soul I'm gonna take a flat shadow brush and we're gonna put some more blue on this bitch because why the fuck not now just to make it clear to you guys about just how fucking blue and very very bright I want my lids to look it doesn't matter if the only lights that are gonna be at the rave are gonna be fucking really bright flashing strobe lights my boyfriend Alexandror is gonna be so fucking blinded by my lids like I want him to see me from outside of the fucking dark ass building. So we're gonna put blue sapphire once again all over our lid just to make sure he sees my ass. He doesn't go fucking off with murderous Maddie. That bitch can go choke on some fucking Poppy. Fuck that bitch. She's not even as emo as I am. Like, fuck that bitch. His band organs on the dance floor is so fucking amazing. You had me at Chelsea Grin, lol, rawr. Put this on the other side, and I'm using two different shades because I'm original, this is who I am, this is who I was supposed to be in life. I'm gonna call this look the beautiful disaster because obviously it looks fucking beautiful even though it looks so disastrous. I'm gonna take the shade Jet from the Kat Von D palette on a fluffy brush and we're gonna contour with it. Just to bring forward my skeleton so you see that there is more to me than just what you see on the outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put that right here. I really feel like I want to add some glitter to the outline of these teardrops because like I said this look is essentially a beautiful disaster and what is more beautiful and disastrous as black eyeliner colored tears come down your face with some glitter accenting them. Now Avi, all that's left is the lipstick. Now because today is picture day at school, ugh, I'm going to take a very very beautiful bright shade to kind of bring color to my face again because Avi, I look very dead. So we're going to take this wet and wild mega last lipstick in the shade vamp it up and we're gonna vamp it up if it doesn't come out looking exactly symmetrical it's okay like I said this is a beautiful disaster I'm gonna take the shade tinsel from the Kat Von D metal matte eyeshadow palette and instead of doing the outlining of the tears like I said I wanted to a glitter I'm just gonna make the actual tear pool itself very glittery so that you guys know that I literally cry and bleed glitter Alright guys, so once you're done with that, this look is all complete. I hope that this prom look is something that you guys will completely enjoy. I'm also doing this because Stacy, also known as my mother, is making me go to this stupid dance. Oh my god, I'm so dumb, lol. To really bring out the color of your eyes, take any really, really creamy black liner that you own. This one's in the shade Purgatory. And just line your lower lash line because no look is dark enough, let's be honest. Alright, so now we're done. So this is what you should look like. All the makeup I own I got from Hot Topic. But anyways guys, I need to get off this computer. My mom is about to come upstairs and yell at me for the 18th time for disrupting class by blasting Enter Shikari in the classroom. I'm gonna get on out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, of course, give this video a thumbs up. Alright, so now that you guys have seen my face enough, now it's time for me to go back to being who I actually am.